talking about teaching that I get to help people. I've always wanted to help people, and so being a resource to them and helping them learn, I've always had a great affinity for learning, so helping develop that in somebody else, and just really the effect that I know my teachers have had upon me, I want to have that effect on someone else. Every year when I start off the, the uh, SED ED100, the Introduction to Education course, I ask the students to look to the left, look to the right, uh, in other places you're told uh, one of you won't be there, we're going to weed you out, you'll never be a doctor. But I say in the School of Education, uh, one of these people is very likely to be your lifelong friend. The School of Education is like a neighborhood, a small town if you will, that's housed within a, a much larger university. It has a small town atmosphere in the sense that everyone knows each other. I really love the community. It is true what they say that it's a small school with the opportunities and the resources of a huge university. So I love to walk through the door. Everyone knows my name. That's huge for me. And I have every resource at my fingertip. Um, I, I looked into the program here um, and I was, I, was, I was really taken by the, the wealth of opportunities that it, that it offers. Um, there was, you know, I was looking at the, the curriculum as it was listed here and there was a pretty good balance of, uh, of content courses versus pedagogy courses and um, a good amount of classroom practical experience as well and, um, and I, I, I was just really taken, taken with the school. Working with the students is the most enjoyable part. Building a good solid program is very rewarding and we're always trying to deliver more to prepare students to be even more ready for entering the field that they're interested in. I advise uh, history education majors and uh, one thing I, uh, I enjoy a lot of things about it. One thing I really enjoy about it is getting to know students on a personal level and uh, I actually let the students help me decide how personal I need to be. Uh, so with some students I meet with them once or twice a year we talk about their uh, program, I make sure that everything's going okay with them, and that's all they need. But many students have other needs or have some very interesting um, uh, programs of study that, that require us to do a lot more work. Um, our advising here is very different than in most of the other schools. The reason is we want to know our students. Um, the advisor you get is someone in your field and they make sure that you have the same advisor for several years uh, and you, so that you know your advisor, your advisor knows you, you keep track of what your advisor is telling you about. Um, if you have problems, you have someone you can go to. There are also our student mentors, which is really, really important, I think. And um, you make, they make sure that your student advisor is also in your field. Building relationships is at the heart of good teaching, whether it's at the elementary level or it's at the college level or it's uh, when you have your first teaching job. The more, uh, the more you can work with each other in terms of colleagues and the stronger relationships you build with children, the more successful all of it will be, your curriculum development, your classroom management and so forth. I think being a teacher really challenges you to know yourself, you know, to really know who you are, you know, what do you really believe in. You know, you're really putting yourself out on the line. If you take it seriously, you have to question yourself every day. What would I do differently? How would I do that another way? Was that really right for that particular child? I, I actually read that last year that the, uh, the USA Today report that said teaching is the number one most rewarding profession. and I. It, it didn't take a week in the classroom before I realized that. I loved E100 and ED101. It was so much fun. Our discussion groups were fantastic. I met some really great people and it was amazing going to site every week and meeting the class and the kids were fantastic. ED100 uh, is a special course. It was designed uh, 20 or 25 years ago by Boston University professors who were concerned about the sorts of training we were giving beginning teachers in these introductory courses. It was one of the first of its kind in the country uh, to combine uh, studies in the philosophy, sociology, uh, economics, politics of education with 
actual practice in the field. So uh, one of the special hallmarks of our program is that we're able to uh, go out and visit the schools at the same time we're learning about what's supposed to be happening in schools. So students are able to connect theory and practice on a very personal level. Uh, that's very rare. One of the things we believe is that we should get kids in the field right away. When I started training teachers many years ago at a different institution, uh, the practice was you didn't see a real life kid until your second semester senior year. And it's a little late to find out that you don't like being on that side of the desk. And uh, so we now get, get students in the field in their freshman year. My freshman year, I got into a Boston public school, worked in a kindergarten classroom, and now I'm working in a suburban school in Newton in third grade classroom. So when I graduate, I'll be able to know what if I want to go into the inner city or into a suburban school, and also which grade level I want to teach. Uh, well, one of the things that um, we try to do with every student is listen to what their, their goals are for their, their own teaching life and then guide them so that they really try to expand those interests as much as possible. We really stress the range of urban versus suburban so that if in freshman year you go to a suburban school like Concord or like Brookline, in junior year, we want you in an urban setting, such as the charter school where we are now. Um, uh, we have our, some of our one day a week students here learning how to work with um, children from really diverse cultures, and it's just enormously exciting and wonderful. And I get lots of phone calls. You may hear the phone ring at some point during this interview of people saying, um, we need people, we want people, do you have any students that want to come out and work in our classrooms? Your peers to just get that experience, plus that one day a week you're in a classroom, so you're having hands-on experience as well, that you can relate back to the actual class. And um, I truly feel that that class, I walked in as a student and I left as a teacher. And study abroad. I mean, how can you be teaching history in London? I had every resource, every every option in European history to talk about and American, I got to combine the two and I got to do it overseas with incredible students, incredible co-teachers and it was really a great opportunity. We have uh, student teaching experiences in Sydney which is just uh, fabulous. People get to go to Australia for a semester. We also have uh, student teaching experiences in London, England and in Ecuador, uh, Quito, Ecuador. So the options are uh, Fabulous. One of the most important things I was looking for in a university was to have a study abroad program. Uh, I know I've traveled before, but I really wanted the opportunity to get immersed into a culture. And BU has so many different opportunities that there's programs in over 100 countries that you can go and study for whether it's over the summer or an entire semester and really get to know the culture. Uh, many of our students uh, pick up what we call a dual licensure program, which means they can be certified in elementary and certified or licensed in special ed. BUCOP or the Boston University Collaborative Degree Program is a really great program in which you are currently you are concurrently enrolled in two different schools at Boston University and you work with the two advisors, one in each school, and you take all of the classes necessary for each major and you get two separate degrees. And again that's that's something that I really enjoyed and, and was I knew about the collaborative degree program before I came here and it's one of the reasons that I chose this, so it's really neat. We believe that math is fun and that the most important thing about learning math is to learn why things work, not just how to do it. I found, as a matter of fact, that music is a good way to help kids remember things they need to remember. The one that usually brings down the house is the one that goes, the words that we use in math class are so different now from those that we used long ago. And then it goes on and on, and then it says, to borrow, to borrow, we can't say to borrow, we must say regroup today. When I visit schools, uh, people will often, uh, teachers, administrators, and others will often tell me that one uh, mark of uh, the BU educated teacher is that he or she really knows his or her stuff. Uh, and that's very exciting to me to, to know that my colleagues in other places across campus are enlightening and instructing and uh, inspiring our students 
uh, in ways that make them better teachers. It's, it's really a very intense experience uh, from beginning to end and I think in the beginning sometimes students feel like it's a lot but I think by the end they leave here thinking I can just go teach I'm ready I, where's my class so I think that's a real very strong very strong aspect of this program I mean B is a great place to be you should come here <laughs> yeah.